health scare. You came through it, and then I haven't heard from you since. You you vanished from you vanished. I did not have a health scare. I didn't feel good one day. I took the corona test, and I was fine. I was never scared. So stop it. Uh, it was like three or four straight days of locked up in your house, not knowing what the tests was gonna was going ten, to reveal. Ten, Dan. Ten, Dan. <laughs> that sounds like a health scare to me, Charles. No, you know it was a health scare. Being stuck in my condo for ten days, it was hellacious, brother. And now what? Now you're just out and about because you uh, you no, thought no, you might. No, no, no. I'm back home in there. I'm back home in Arizona, man. It's just uh, I got more space, obviously, but. You know, I want to give my best to everybody out there, man. This corona thing is obviously serious, and please be safe and social distance, but bless everybody, and God bless the ones who passed away. I'm curious, Charles, when you see, because I've been made sad watching you. I've heard you talk in a couple of different places about how your friendship isn't what it was because you criticized his uh, his management. And he obviously, the, the, the film shows that he holds on to these slights and doesn't let go. But life's too short, man. Can't you reach out to him and fix that? That's never going to happen, Dan. You can let that go. <laughs> That's never going to happen. Hey. Dan, stop it, brother. We're good. Michael's doing great. Chuck's doing great. Uh, but that, that that's never going to happen, brother. I'm too stubborn for that. You know me better, Dan. He tends to hold on to grudges, Dan. Uh, Charles is, Charles is I, probably... Hey, I, don't, I, hey, I don't hold on to grudges, but... No, no, Michael. Gonna if I'm, okay, I'm never going to be if I'm wrong, if I'm not wrong. That's never going to happen. Charles, I'm wondering, do you think, do you think back in your prime... Uh, the way he treated his teammates. I'm not saying he would have treated you like this, and I know you played with him on the Dream Team. I'm not suggesting that. Do you think you could have played with Michael, not Dream Team play, Pippen, Horace, Grant play with Michael, be his teammate? Well, you know, you, you notice he has selective prosecution over there, right? <laughs> he knows who to pick on. <laughs> you know? Right. No, no, he's, no, no, listen, I, I, Michael's awesome, but let me tell you something. He would have been. There's certain guys you can't treat like that. Like you have to know what guys you can treat badly, and they're gonna accept it. You know, uh, screaming at guys all the time, punching guys. Come on, man. There's there's certain guys that'll whoop the hell out of you if you try doing that. So, you know, he has selective prosecution. I mean, Scott Burrell and Steve Kerr. I mean, uh, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Um, when, when, did you feel bad for anybody? Did you feel bad for the way anyone is being portrayed in it? Uh, let's see. Uh, actually, Jerry Krause. Because uh, I think, uh, you know, Reinsdorf has thrown him under the bus and drove over him like 10 times. You know, the notion that Jerry Krause broke up the Bulls, anybody who think that's got to be a fool. Uh, Jerry, uh, Jerry Roger didn't want to pay those guys. You know, he had a chance to play Horace Grant. He let him go. Uh, he See, that's the thing that's funny, too. You know, you go back to episode two, of two I think it was. You know, they hear about talking about how much money uh, Scotty was making. Michael wasn't making that much more. Now, he was making more from Nike. But my, other than the last two years when Michael made $30 million, he wasn't making any money. And the reason they broke up the Bulls, he didn't want to pay anybody. He didn't want to pay Scotty. I guarantee you, I don't even know what Dennis was making, but I bet it was peanuts. When it was time to pay everybody, he broke up the team. And he threw Jerry Krause like, Jerry Krause broke up the Bulls. I'm like, come on, man. It's Jerry's Ryan Dawes' money. If he wanted to keep that team together, he would have stayed.